Has it just gone overcast? Oh wait, no, Sean's here. Hello. Welcome. Are we in a midget car? No, no, it's... I don't know if that's the uh, sort of correct term, but okay. Get comfy. Let's throw a paw in. There we go. <laughs> this ain't funny, Calvin. You're almost in. Jeez. <laughs> Can I sit on the back seat? No. no. <laughs> okay. We gotta we we gonna love each other all the way. <laughs> I can't get to the kids. <laughs> Welcome to what is clearly a review of the new Renault Quid on a very windy day and that means it's a terrible day to be driving a Renault Quid. There's something about those boxy dimensions, those pumped up arches, that pert little bum, those wheel arches big enough to hide stowaways and for what is it really? A poor man's Jeep Renegade? or perhaps a tiny man's Jeep Renegade. Let's get inside and have a better look. So if I'm honest with you, it's not even the worst place I've ever sat. Sort of reminiscent of its bigger brother, the Renault Sandero, at a stretch, even the Renault Duster. It isn't unreasonably cramped in here, and the materials are fine. They're on par with what you'd expect for a car that costs 129,000 Rand. In fact, I can see the entertainment system, the touchscreen, multimedia system they're really really seducing prospective buyers and why not I've got this airbag here in terms of safety as well as these seat belts and very little else which is kind of the problem with this car that definitely helps this little one liter engine make the most out of its 50 kilowatts and 91 newton meters Helping it haul itself with an impressive 155 k's an hour with top speed. But you don't want to be doing that. You do not want to be doing that in this car. Handling. It's not great. Remember that incredibly light curb weight. Well combine that with skinny 155 mil wide tires and all that ground clearance. And you're essentially steering a tall boy. You've got yourself a car that clumsily bounds from corner to corner and if a heavy Cape Town wind catches you well I hope you like surprise lane changes you're constantly rowing the five-speed manual too little throttle and you'll labor off the line too much and you'll squeal off with those skinny tires like a stuck pig admittedly cruising around like this in a straight line I can't really complain about the ride quality. It sucks. I've said before that there's something fun about driving a underpowered car. Well, this is a very underpowered car. Very underpowered. I really wanted a route for this little Frenchie, and maybe I still can, but it now comes with a massive disclaimer. That's safety. Yes, it's easy on the pocket. Yes, it's easy on the eye, but while I won't condemn it for its bad safety rating, I can't recommend it to you either. This is South Africa and people need wheels, people need transport. And if a second hand market is definitely not an option for you, then there's a lot in the quid to recommend it. It's light on fuel, which is great because it's got a tiny 28 litre tank that it's got a sip from. But at the end of the day, I don't know. I don't know if liking it is good enough. Me personally, I wouldn't touch it, but then I wouldn't touch the similar Datsun Go either. 
I am, however, a big fan of the Renault Sendero, of the Renault Duster. I even own a Sendero. You're gonna have to put the seatbelt on. I am? You're gonna have to. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Is it long enough? Let's see how far we can put it. Oh, no, that's it, right? That's it, she has. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna just. Do you want me to get out? Did you get in? I think it might be easier. Okay, we put all in. This feels safe. All in. Okay. Are you waiting all spice? <laughs> cool thing. I'm gonna get a drive through so I don't have to leave. You do know I am leaning over to you. I can you. I can feel you. So it's not unpleasant. No. For normal for the abnormal people. You do know this is the normal. It's normal for us. <laughs> Let's see what this thing can do. Okay. Um, I think you mean in terms of speed. It's got a big dial. It does have a big dial. Is that for big speed or is that just... Let me tell you about the speed of this car. So I, this car, any other day, weighs under the ton. Okay. But with you and I in here, we have effectually... It's just a bit over a ton. We have effectually doubled the weight of the car. Okay. So with that, I won't lie somewhat hampered performance um, which you'll experience mostly on the N1 just now. It's just it's supposed to pull ourselves away from this traffic light. Listen to that though. It rolls. Yeah. I don't know if it's roaring from, from pain or roaring from it's agony. It's definitely agony. It's got a bit of pull eh? Really? Yeah, that's, that's, where the, that's where the aircon is somewhat engaged as well. I can't have my windows of keys again. <laughs> I think you're right, I think it does. I think it's considered. For little cards uh, of this size and nature, it's definitely interesting. Looking a lot more like a little lady's car. This? Yeah. I think it's kind of meant for your, your students, maybe a young housewife, or not necessarily a housewife, to a young lady. I think it's a good looking car. I actually think it's a really, really, really good looking car for a lady. Hi, can I have two kiddies juice, please? No. I think you're more than kiddies juice. Oh, one second. Me medium cream soda. Oh, I thought you wanted medium cream soda. Yeah, medium cream soda. I thought you wanted juice. Okay, can I have a medium cream soda? Um, a black coffee. And what happy meal toys do you have? Thank you very much. How many years? You, my friend, I'm actually sitting in a in a meeting at the moment. Can you please uh, give me a call back? You're a stop. No, I'm not a writer. Okay. Safety, safety, safety. In day to day, everybody's talking about safety, but it's it's how you're going to be driving on the road and how how wonderful it's a. Should I say taxis? Got a lot of problems on our road. I think that's that's the problem. You know, if you're buying a car like this, you're a very safe driver. That's only half the problem solved. You, know, you can't really control what everyone else is doing. Here's a fact. Here's my opinion. This is advice. If your work commute is more than 20 k's a day each way, don't buy this car. It's not for you. This is if you're Five k's away from home, five k's away from the gym, five k's away from pitching your kids, and that's your whole life. And this car makes a lot of sense. In that kind of environment, you're not going to be affected by a truck that's trying to squeeze you off the road. You're not going to be in the worst sort of position when a taxi does do something stupid. If you're looking at this car compared to other cars on the road, there isn't much of a difference. Size wise, it's easy to get in my markings and things like that. Yeah. A little bit smaller than mine. <laughs> but and, and yet here we are! Yeah. Getting from point A to point B. Nobody died. I'm yes. quite comfortable. You are? I'm, I'm, a little, I'm a little cramped. Are you? Just 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 a touch. No one's gonna believe that. So 
all Africa everywhere. All Africa. They kind of they, they kind of look at you and go according by size which continent you can name. Obviously, Africa's clearly the biggest. Yes, I am the biggest at the moment. At the moment. Holding the Africa heavyweight title. You also hold the bar to the nerd. Lolly bump. Thank you. This is the bump.